Um, coach telling us that if we get more than a certain number of turnovers, um, <laughs> we have to run 17s. Uh, we don't want to run those 17s. So, <laughs> no. Nah. I mean, coach has just been telling us, you know, for us to be a great team and for us to be able to win, you know, we can't turn the ball over and have other teams scoring off our turnovers. Because, um, you know, one night we could be cold and not everything's going for us. And, you know, if we're giving up those turnovers, it's going to be hard for us to win. So, We've just been focusing more on taking care of the ball, taking more pride in the ball, and uh, what we do with it. What exactly are 17s? Oh, um, like sideline to sideline. So you got to run times. one, two, three in 65 seconds. And I think one time we uh, ran two, we bought out of one, but we had three at one point <laughs> in one practice. So, so it, was a, it was a tough day. You guys have played 32 of 64 threes the last two games, 50 percent. Has it just been better passing, spacing, just hot nights? How do you explain it? I'd say, um, you know, we're, we're moving the ball. We're making a simple play. Um, you know, we're finding shooters it, with, with that movement. Guys are getting open a little better, and uh, we're just knocking them down. So I'd say that's probably the biggest culprit. This is a seventh straight team all held to under one point per possession in Big Ten play. I mean, what has been uh, along with mentality is also experience. Um, the young guys are really stepping up and, and being like sponges and absorbing our concepts and um, really studying extra film. Um, so if you learn concepts and, and people's tendencies, it's easier to get stops because you know what they're doing before they do it. Um, so, I mean, that, that's the biggest thing is just getting extra film. It's not so much physical. Um, because we have the physical, we all work hard all the time. Um, it's just a matter of being there and being in the right spot at the right time. And then I'd, I'd add to that, I'd say just the scouting, uh, especially getting into the Big Ten, you know, the, our coach, especially Coach Judd today, did such a good job scouting Northwestern. You know, they run some great action, and uh, we really just, you know, did a phenomenal job, even the young guys just really going through that and, uh, you know, defending that well. How big have OG and Juwan been in terms of helping their defenses? Yeah. Extremely big. I mean, they're very versatile. When they come in, they can guard multiple positions, um, allow us to switch sometimes, um, and, and it just lets our defense flow more. They're very athletic, very very versatile, and um, they're not positional defensive guys that we have to hide when we sub in. So it, it, it's it's really nice. Max, um, yeah, I think you guys saw us that you made 11 threes in your first in uh, at your time in Michigan, and you've already made more than that here just uh, so far this season. So how does this, the having so many three-point shooters around you help you have space and give, uh, and, like, give you more room to shoot sort of? Yeah, I think it's, you know, a combination of, you know, just the great ball movement, like we were saying, getting open looks. Um, you know, I really worked on my shot over the summer with the coaches too. Um, and I think it's a combination of that, you know, starting to pay off. And you know, I'm, I'm getting comfortable in the system. I, you know, everyone's, you know, sharing the ball really well. And uh, it's just, it's, it's making it a lot easier. Yes, Max, you, you talked about sharing the ball, you talked about finding shooters. How important has the Yogi been just in kind of leading that effort? It, it, I mean, obviously, at the offensive end of the floor, but maybe it also feels like just communicating where guys are in the defensive end. Too. Oh, yeah, I mean, he, uh, you know, he gets a pretty good amount of assists. I don't know if you guys have heard, but, you know, he brought that assist right <laughs> But, uh, yeah, he always finds that open man. Um, you know, he does a great job, you know, leading the charge and, you know, swinging it to the right person, and they make the right play, too. So, you know, yeah, it's just, it's just it's awesome. <clears throat> Guys, Colin touched on this a little bit about OG specifically. I know he didn't have a big game tonight, but what has he brought and how has he made the transition successfully from high school to uh, Indiana? Well, I think OG's awareness, you could say, has gone up tremendously. And that's what we talk about a lot is on the court and being aware of, you know, what you need to do offensively, what you need to do defensively. And I think that skyrocketed for OG. Uh, definitely was a quicker turnaround than I feel like people thought. But, you know, I think that's the process of ourselves and the coaches being on OG because we knew his potential. You know, a guy with a seven, six wingspan can jump out the gym. I mean, we saw his potential as, you know, being as high as it can be. And I felt like OG has, you know, definitely stepped up in that way for us. What's just kind of been behind the way you guys have started games? 
especially the year last year, I think you know, you kind of time leads on average. What, what's kind of been the key to starting games the way you have been kind of playing early? Um, going back, I mean, it's all mindset. Um, you got to come in being aggressive. Um, there's, the Big Ten's a tough league. Um, anybody can win on any, any given night, and if you don't come ready to play, you're going to get beat. Um, so you really have to come in with the right mindset and get guys ready and get yourself ready and take people with you. Yeah, and Coach Kareem does a great job of keeping us ready. Um, you know, with especially Northwestern coming off that tough loss at Maryland, you know they were going to come in here and really you know bring something extra. And you know, I think we did a really good job handling that, you know, showing that we're, you know, on a mission too and we're working for something as well. Max, I know you got a lot of expectations coming here, but how have they sort of progressed since the season has started and where do you think you have, have done with this new roster and this new team? Um, yeah, it's, you know, it's tough to say. It's obviously, you know, the expectations, you know, I, I knew this was going to be a good team. I knew there was a lot of talent. You know, I knew I enjoyed, you know, being with the guys and the chemistry was going to translate on the court. Um, you know, I, I think, you know, my expectations were just, you know, be as good as we could, can be. And, you know, with this little streak we got going, I think it's starting to show. Things are coming together and, you know, it's a lot of fun. Do you, do you feel like you finally reached a comfortable place in, in the system and what Tom sort of wants you to do with the guys? Yeah, I'd say so. I mean, they, it's... You know, it's definitely not hard too with the guys. You know, they make it so easy. The coaches and everything. You know, making it every, making sure everyone's you know feeling comfortable and knowing what they're doing. And yeah, I think it's. I, I'd say so. Yeah. You said a few weeks ago, Ohio State was some of the most fun you had here. You kind of had a lot of fun since. How's that sort of looseness translated as far as confidence and the balance that this team's had? Yeah, I feel like on the court we have a lot of confidence, and you know, especially I think we have a lot of confidence defensively. You know, this game, Coach Justin prepared us well with uh, the scouting of Northwestern, what they wanted to do, their tendencies. And I felt like we carried that onto the court. So, you know, for us to play, uh, you could say, loose out there, you know, it's us getting down and getting stops. You know, I think even as a team, we probably don't even think this is our best defensive game, probably one of our worst. Um, not one of our worst, but, you know, we definitely had stretches in there where we know we can be better. And I feel like we're going to get to the film and watch it and we can be better and, um, you know, just try and find different ways because, you know, we're definitely going to need that defensive mindset to win on the road.